Hi, in this video, we look at everything about creating standard built-in iOS patterns using SwiftUI. We will cover button styles, button border shape, button control size, and button rows. By using these four button properties, you can easily add standard iOS buttons to your SwiftUI app. Let's begin with button styles. You can use button styles to get custom appearances and add standard interaction behaviors to your buttons. So these are the five different kinds of standard built-in iOS buttons you can add to your SwiftUI projects. The first one is automatic. You can add it using the button style modifier and specifying the option as automatic. Once you do that, you get a borderless button. So you can see here we have an icon and label. The automatic option may also change the button label color. What you can do here is to specify the label color as blue so that it matches that of the icon. Next, we have the bordered button style. This adds a rounded rectangle to the button. This is useful if you want to create a button with a rounded rectangular shape. Next, we have the bordered prominent style. It also adds a prominent border to the button. So the bordered one adds a rounded rectangle with a lighter fill, while the bordered prominent adds a rounded rectangle with a prominent fill, which is blue by default. Once you apply the bordered prominent style, the color of the icon or its label may change. So what you have to do here is to specify a specific color. So here we state it as white. The borderless button style is similar to automatic. It removes the rounded rectangle around the button, as you see here. Finally, we have the plain button style. This is very useful if you want to customize the button further. You can, for example, add different shapes for the button's background. The plain button style may also change the color of the button symbol or its label to black or white, depending on whether you are in dark mode or light mode. So over here, we are setting the foreground style to blue. So once you set the button style to plain, you can go ahead and add the background modifier and pattern to customize the button's background further. So these are the built-in button styles for iOS when using SwiftUI. Let's move on to the next, button control size. You can use the button control size modifier to define the size of your buttons in SwiftUI. There are five standard and built-in button control sizes for iOS. You can see the first one is extra large. It makes the button more bigger and applies a capsule style to it. Next, we have the large control size. With the large control size combined with the border style, you get a large rounded rectangle as you see here. The regular control size is the default on iOS. So you can see over here, combining it with the bordered style, we get a rounded rectangle, which is smaller than the large. The mini control size converts the button to capsule and minimizes it. Finally, the small control size is similar to the mini control size. So you can see over here, we have a capsule shape with the size of the button similar to the mini one. So these are all the five built-in button control sizes you can add to your iOS and SwiftUI projects. Let's move on to the next, that is button border shape. You can use the standard button border shapes in SwiftUI and iOS to specify whether you want a button to be a rectangular shape, a capsule shape, or you want the button to have a circular shape. So you can see over here, if you specify the button border shape as automatic and use it along with the bordered button style, you get a rounded rectangle for the button. Next, you can specify the button border shape as capsule. The size of the capsule button border shape is the same as the automatic, but here we have a fully rounded rectangle that creates a capsule or a peel shape. You can also specify the button border shape as circle. So you can see here, we now have a circular shape. This is very useful if you want to display some symbols without their labels. Next, you can specify the button border shape as rounded rectangle without any parameter. Once you do that, you get a rounded rectangular shape similar to that of the automatic. You can also specify the button border shape as rectangular. But here you can specify a custom radius. What we have in this example is four. You can also change it to any value you want. So here we are converting it to a peel shape. I will undo the change to make it four. Finally, you can specify the option as button border, which is similar to a rounded rectangle. That also applies a default rounded rectangle to the button. 
So these are all the standard built-in button border shapes. You can specify for your SwiftUI and iOS buttons. Finally, once you create buttons in SwiftUI, you can use the button row property to specify the purpose of the button. We have two built-in button rows, Extractive and Cancel, but you can also create custom ones for something like Warning, Success and Error. So here we use the Destructive row to specify that an action is destructive. You can for example use the Destructive button row when a user is about to delete something in your app. The Cancel button row is also useful for cancelling actions. You can use it for cancelling specific activities or interactions in your app. So these are all the standard button styles, button control sizes, button border shapes, and button rows for iOS and SwiftUI. Thanks for watching this video.